Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Do you think practicing fire making techniques in such a windy environment is dangerous? Do you think it's even necessary? Now I assure people that I'm in a controlled environment. I know the last time it's rained around here when it looks like the flames are blowing towards all of these leaves, but people are just freaked out that I do all this practicing in this much wind around all these leaves that appear to be dry. Please comment and let me know. Today I want to practice three techniques. Just a simple big lighter in all this wind. Um, we'll do some fire roll and some ferro rod. Very, very challenging in this much wind. The easiest one is going to be the fire roll because the wind's not really going to affect it much other than as I'm going for flames with the tinder bundles. But that's that'll be the easiest one. Let's get some of these leaves off the ground and we'll get started. Let's practice the Bic lighter in the wind. Fill up the Ikea stove loosely with leaves. Shield the initial flame from the wind and once we get a little bit of a flame established and some coals then we'll turn it towards the wind. See, now that wasn't as quick and easy as you thought it was going to be, was it? Just add twigs to that. And that will start your fire. All right, let's try a very challenging ferro rod ignition. And of course I'll be scraping that with my Stanley 10-049 with the good sharp spine. Now I gotta do something about keeping the leaves from blowing away. Let's see if I can weight the leaves down with this right here. I'll go ahead and get some more leaves, kind of wait for these gusts to die down. I'm gonna set this out of the way. something that you never see me do because it's it's more difficult with a short ferro rod. Let's do the drag technique.
Let's lay the leaves up. With a little hole right in the center. Boy, this is full of sticks. And kind of weigh it down a little bit. Have to make that hole in the center best you can and another stick. Now, let's try that. I see a flame. Kind of not a, not a smooth way to do it, but it worked. Let's let that get established real well. While that's burning, I'll go get some more leaves off the ground. And then we'll go ahead and do our fire roll. for the fire roll and we'll use the handle of our mora all right this is my second attempt here's my first try this other half of the cotton ball for some ash tender. Please visit my ash tender playlist. It explains thoroughly what the technique is all about and how you can turn any standard tender into a great coal extender. About a quarter teaspoon of ashes. Roll it up good and tight. Make sure you have some ashes on the bottom board also. And I will have to hold this sawhorse to keep it from shaking and wobbling all over the place.
you don't see smoke, go back and roll it some more. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in our ash tender and reset the camera. So there'll be a long shot of me so I can say my goodbyes properly. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch y'all on the next one.